All right, so as mentioned, <clears throat> we're going to be playing around with these um, LED strips I bought from Lazada. They're WS2812's addressables, and you plug them in directly to the addressable header on the motherboard of, well, any motherboard that has an addressable RGB header. So uh, right now, you've got the RSync software, RSync software running, and we're currently on the breathing mode. As you can see, it's been breathing red. You can apply blue, and now it breathes blue. All right, and you can do by areas, but that's gonna take a while. Let's try color cycle, and okay. Best part, um, one of the best stock ones that Asus has on the RSync software is the rainbow mode, and you can do color cycle, and they light up um they have different individually colored per led bulb and i do like gradient more it gives it a more unicorn feel and they are bright for the price i paid for these they're really good okay so you can see the lights are moving and they change. All right, so going to comment preset next, and there you go. That is great, and it does make much more sense. I haven't seen anyone do this before online on YouTube. Um, some people tried the <clears throat> RSync software. They tried to do some reviews of the RSync software, but I haven't seen anybody actually do it like this on there um, as you can see it does make sense now um, what am I talking about <clears throat> without these without these things that make it look like lights are running around if you don't have those look at the look at the motherboard look at the whole computer they'd be just blinking lights and it doesn't make any sense like what is that that's it see now with these they might make much more sense if I'm going to be able to put all of these inside the case that would be really that, that would really look amazing and so moving on to the next one flash and dash this one also makes sense and now it goes to the motherboard everything else responds so Without these again, those would just be blinking lights. All right, moving on to wave. We got single color. And there. So it starts off from the motherboard and then it moves down to the strips. And then again, makes much more sense. And then glowing yo yo. There. Again, more sense. So basically, now we're on to starry night. Starry night. Starry night. Okay. So it's, it makes you, it, it makes the surrounding feel like you got stars blinking randomly from different places we're going to strobing now and there you go that's just weird though um it now considers this whole thing as one but that's fine i rarely use that setting anyway what i usually like to play with is the music um you know, uh, it, it, it responds to the beat of the music. So we're going to try to do that right now. We're on the rock preset under music and we apply that. Let's play a song. Okay, so we got a song going on. All right, so what I really think about these addressable LED strips 
I think they're more responsive. Um, they give it a more um, audio visualizer effect versus the ones that you plug into the 12 volt RGB headers, but that's just my opinion. All right, moving on to the next one, hip hop. All right, what I noticed here is that these become like uh, real audio visualizers. So as you can see, it's beating up there and steady down there. All right, so the light's up there now. And we're gonna try to go to party. All right, now that looks like an audio visualizer. It's much better. Now I'm really hoping um, to be able to upgrade it to the Maximus X code because those have like two addressable RGB headers. These only have one. All right, next is sleep. It still responds to the music, but uh, just obviously sleeping mode. This one I can't really get. I think they respond to the bass more. That's the funk um, mode in music. Yeah, I really think it's more on bass. All right. So now it's pretty steady. All right, going to romance. more on blues and purples jazz more on that and the normal is just pretty basic um, just as well I think it color cycles if I'm not mistaken so yeah it's color cycles slowly all right so that's just basically it for these and also make sure that uh, you set the number of LEDs that you have so I think the maximum here based on the ma user manual is 60 LED lights and this one's for the RGB headers there so there you go um, hope you guys learned something here right now that uh, I've always wanted to uh, understand before when I bought the motherboard couldn't really understand what the 12 volt RGBs and the 5 volt RGB addressables are and no one's really selling it I think cable mod does um, but they're a bit expensive that's why the motherboard comes with a discount 20% <laughs> anyway um, that's just it um, my next video would be um, setting all of these up inside the case and I don't know what I'll be able to come up with but I'm hoping I could light up the whole thing and make sure everything's here thank you guys for watching I'm sorry I had to cut the video because I wasn't able to record anything that would actually end the video properly so just don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll try to come back with more stuff for you guys thanks